Hello leaders, Dr. Patrick Jinx here, leadership and strategy coach and president of the Jinx Perspective. In this hand, I'm holding about $6,000 worth of Canon camera equipment. And in this hand, about $130 worth. What's the difference? And what does this have to do with leading a nonprofit? Cue it up. As a professional photographer, I've upgraded my equipment through the years and done so recently. Today I shoot with three different cameras with my prime unit being this Canon R5 mirrorless camera. Now this shoots an 8K video and 45 megapixel full frame digital stills. And in this hand is the classic Canon AE-1 35 millimeter film camera from the 70s that I bought on eBay recently for about 130 bucks. It did include some pretty cool vintage lenses. With this one, I can be a better photographer because this camera actually does things that hides a lot of my mistakes because of its technology. It can automatically choose the shutter speed, light sensitivity, white balance, aperture opening. It focuses on my subject automatically. It even has stabilizing technology to reduce any unsteadiness in my hands. What's more is I can take a shot with this one and I can get instant feedback on the image so that I can make adjustments on the fly. However, with this camera, I actually have to know a little bit more about the principles of photography. I have to know how to calculate my shutter speed based on the focal length that I'm using. I have to have purchased the appropriate film speed in advance and loaded it. And I can't adjust that on the fly. I have to manually focus and I won't know how good the shot was until I get the film developed at a lab. So why did I buy this earlier this year? Because I don't want to forget the basics. Sometimes sharpening our skills means stepping back and remembering the basics. The more I understand how to use this camera using the basics of photography, the more I will get out of the $6,000 technology in this hand. Leadership is similar. If you find yourself getting lost in stress, communication glitches, employee engagement, or just feeling a lack of vision forward, pause to think about what the basics of leadership are. Now, I was tempted to list a bunch of leadership basics in this video, but I've decided to stay in coaching mode, allow this to be a coaching moment, and ask you, what do you believe the basics to be? On what basic set of leadership principles can you recenter yourself? Let me know your thoughts by dropping them either in the comment section below or shooting me an email. We often overcomplicate leadership. Now, it, leadership is a difficult thing to do well, for sure. The great Vince Lombardi added to his legendary status when at the start of a Green Bay Packers season, uh, their training camp, following a heartbreaking championship loss the season before, he held up a football and he announced, gentlemen, this is a football. And then he started back at the fundamentals of the game and he built from there. And yes, they won the championship that year, along with many others after that. If you were to bring your leadership team together and say, team, this is leadership. What would it be that you held up in front of them? That's the Jinx perspective for this week. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button below and then click the bell icon so that you're notified when we drop new episodes, you'll be the first to know. Also, if you'd like to explore ways that the Jinx Perspective can help you or your organization achieve greater clarity, simplicity, and alignment in your mission work, you can schedule a free discovery call with me by clicking the link that's in the video description below this video. Share this with a friend or a colleague, and we will see you here next time. Lead on.